Fallen Order is here. Let's watch it together. That, that, that's cool, the TIE Fighter. So this is the lead. What planet is he on? Is that Endor? No? No, that, that can't be Endor, because that would kind of screw with the continuity of the films, and I know this is a canon Star Wars. Saul Guerrero. Holy shit, he sounds like. Did they get Forrest Whitaker to return for the for the voice? Because he sounds just like him. I recognize that dude from Gotham. He plays a Joker, or that incarnation of Joker. Anyway, he's got his own. It's like every Star Wars hero needs their own protocol droid. And excuse any background noise, there's crying babies, but this is the only time I can actually get this up and running. I wonder how many years this takes place between 3 and 4, because I know this is after Revenge of the Sith. Free the Wookiees. Oh, he's on Kashyyyk. That's cool. Star Wars games, like... Kashi, you can go to them in previous Star Wars games, but you don't really, like... They always seem the same. They never really change up the very locations and actually make it look like a distinguishable planet. Except the way it looked in Revenge of the Sith, which it looked cool there in the clone battles. And he's had a cool lightsaber. His looks, when I seen the teaser for this game, and you look at the design of his lightsaber, it looks ancient almost. His saber hilt, anyway. And I'm gonna talk over just throughout the course of this gameplay, just to avoid copyright or anything like that, because every time I do my Star Wars Battlefront 2 streams, I never hear people getting complaints for having the music copyright issues, but then I upload my live streams and I get hit with it, but I don't give a damn because that's not going to stop me from streaming the game and the new content. So, that's... See, this is what I'm talking about. This looks to be a fully, almost fully realized Jedi. Because the only thing I know about this game is that I heard the developer said there's no dark side or light side choices. It's a pure Jedi experience, which, for the heat that EA was under, this one, it looks like they're letting Respawn do what they want and they're not interfering, and this game would save their skin. I mean, they already saved their skins with fixing Battlefront 2 and Apex Legends, which was a cool game. They had a huge blunder with Anthem. And this game, I know everyone is going to be optimistic, but so far I really am liking what I'm seeing. And the only times I ever had true lightsaber single player experiences. Oh shit. He's got a Magnagar staff. Hold on real quick. Let's take it this. I take it this is the mini boss. So he's got these. He's got the Electro Staffs from the Guards of General Grievous. And that I would understand if this game takes place only five years after Revenge of the Sith. Because A New Hope is 19 to 20 years in the Empire's reign. And a lot of these games, I wouldn't mind a lot of this time period being explored. Because Rebels explored it. Star Wars Resistance, I believe, was exploring it. No, that's exploring episode 6 through 7. But this, I like the games that take place during the Order 66 era. 
because it makes you being a Jedi or a Dark Sider or any Force wielder. Think you can help me, BD? It makes you feel more pivotal because there's not many of your kind left. So it looks like this young hey, this guy is fairly young too, this Jedi character. I didn't catch his name, so if I don't say his name, forgive me. I only recognize Saw. Saw the Railroad. I like the lit. What? All of those giant bees. So Kashyyyk is gonna have what? Flame Troopers. Every f Star Wars lightsaber game has to have Flame Troopers. That's a given. But the way his movement is, it doesn't look automatic. These movements look. I can already tell this guy. He has Kylo Ren's power of freeze and pull, but is that considered a dark side ability? I mean, I would think so. And I wonder how long the game is because they said it. This was only. This looks like to be from what I was able to uh, dig up before watching this right now with you guys. This is only three to four hours into the game. And they're building it up that this is a long game. Uh, if it is, if it, if it's, I give it, if it's 15 to 20 hours for this kind of game, and if it's going to have replayability, I wouldn't say different endings, I think this is going to have a core ending, but to go back and give you replayability, different ways to do the missions, because it looks like you can come in and handle the situation how you want. You can stand aside and it looks like it let the wildlife kill the stormtroopers but you can go in and kill the stormtroopers as well, so you can still stay involved. What is that, giant, a, t a giant tick? It looks like a giant tick or a giant flea. <laughs> Enemy designs from Earth Defense Force, I see. No, but that's crazy. I've never seen wildlife on any form of Kashyyyk. I know these look like the spiders that are uh, in Star Wars Rebels when Kanan was talking to the Bendu. They look like that, but bigger. Because they look like they have similar eyes, similar. They don't have that big, bulky body, though. They were much skinnier than that. So, I see a force meter the health meter and that little white bar what I want to take is a stamina bar of some kind unless the force augments him to unless he's uh, using the force to augment himself to stay in like a fit stay a uh, fit amount of stamina for fighting this guy looks very powerful for someone who looks like he's not even a Jedi master Because a lot of these Jedi after Order 66 were either rogue Jedi, or they didn't carry the title of Jedi, so they didn't suppress themselves from getting stronger. They kind of did their own thing. Like Ahsoka. Ezra, Kanan, though they're Jedi, they did it in their own way. They didn't just stick to traditions, which is what I like. I don't like the traditional aspects. Investigating what I like. I like the clone trooper helmets and I see battle droid bodies to heavily remind you of the Clone Wars. Hey, if that's a way you want to win people over is the Clone Wars. That That's a given. That's a fact. But this is really cool so far. It looks nice, sounds nice, looks like it's going to play rather well. It's what everyone is worried about, is wondering what could be the story. Is the story going to be any good? If it's canon, but this is Respawn. Respawn made Titanfall 2, which Titanfall 2 had a great story, in my opinion. So, I could trust them. The only criticism I'm so far seeing is, maybe they need to iron out because this is a demo after all. Things kind of look janky a, a little bit. A little bit and I'm, I noticed that when it's multiple enemies especially when you're trying to do multiple moves or multiple force powers with your attacks 
and throwing the lightsaber a little bit. But it's barely noticeable, especially when you're moving fast. I do like those slow-mo anima animation kills. That Kylo Ren fucking freezes just like... Yo! I've never seen that in a Star Wars game. Holy shit. He froze the fucker. The fuck is still true? He froze him mid-stride. Yanked him. You assume he's gonna stab him. Nope. Pull him right in front of his own bullet. Make that stormtrooper feel stupid. If you're testing a Jedi. Hmm. enemies look like they're gonna be a, not a problem but you need to be very strategic that's another thing I like I, I see a level of strategy so far to going in and handling the situation because that's a mini boss with regular troops around you and you need to focus on them or they can hurt you trying to stop him what's the name of that trooper by the way because he's a new trooper I see because every Star Wars game tries to introduce new stormtroopers, especially when it takes place in the in-between periods of revenge and a new hope. Oh, so you do carry medic, what looks like medic, um, medical shot. So, I wonder how many you can carry on hand. The facial animation also looks really cool. Is that Chewbacca? Nah, that can't be. The solo movie didn't, I don't think, happens at this time. K2SO? No, that's not K2SO. I know the Imperials have those damn droids that they combat droids. I almost got confused for a second. Oh, oh shit, it's over. Wow. This looks like it's just highlights at the end, but Jedi Fallen Order. Games play best on Xbox One. Get, tell me what you guys think. I, I'm kind of speechless. It's a lot different than I expected it would be. Not at all what I expected. 